Hello all and welcome to this channel. Today in this video we are going to talk about neurotransmitters and hormones for food and mood. Food is not just a fuel for our bodies but it plays an essential role in our mental and emotional well-being as well. Skip meals, binge eating and weight loss diets lead to mood fluctuations and can often cause psychological distress. As we all know, after a tough emotionally draining day, it's all too easy to choose chocolate or sugary foods for an instant blood glucose spike and a brief sense of satisfaction. But have you ever thought why does our mood play such an important role in the foods we choose to eat and how can we make better choices to avoid a vicious cycle that could ultimately lead to systemic dysfunctions? To find its answer, let's see one by one the top five neurotransmitters or hormones and chemicals in the brain which affect our mood and food choices. At point number one, we have oxytocin. Oxytocin is a neuropeptide hormone. It is also known as love or cuddle hormone, which is synthesized in the hypothalamus of brain. It is not only hugely important in childbirth and breastfeeding, but is also vital for emotional bonding, mood elevation, sexual activity and happiness. To have optimal levels of oxytocin, the best approach is to eat amino acid tryptophan, vitamin B and magnesium rich foods like avocados, dark chocolate, nuts, spinach and yogurt. At point number 2, we have phenethylamine. Phenethylamine is an organic monoamine alkaloid compound which acts as a central nervous system stimulant in humans. It is associated with elevated mood, concentration, motivation, heightened sense and sex drive. We need PEA to self-regulate its production to prevent overexcitement and under-stimulation. The body can obtain this from foods which include lentils, chickpeas, flax seeds, shellfish, salmon, chicken, egg whites, sheep and goat's milk as well as dark chocolate. At point number 3 we have serotonin. Serotonin is a monoamine neurotransmitter which is also known as happiness hormone. 90% of this hormone is found in the gastrointestinal tract directly associated with appetite mood and sleep this hormone is vital for cognitive function including memory and learning low serotonin is associated with low self-esteem insomnia and negative emotions synthesized from the amino acid tryptophan it can be found abundantly in a variety of foods including bananas cheese turkey almonds and soya products Try to include these foods in your diet to ensure optimal concentration in the body. And remember that folate from fruits, green leafy vegetables, nuts and poultry further ensure optimal serotonin production. At point number 4 we have dopamine. Dopamine is a neuromodulatory molecule that plays several important roles in cells. It is responsible for regulating pleasure addictions, emotions and sensory stimuli. This neurotransmitter is primarily synthesized in the brain from the amino acid tyrosine and phenylalanine. Foods to reinforce optimal amounts of dopamine include almonds, walnuts, dark chocolate, banana, watermelon, eggs, avocado, yogurt, and omega-3 rich fish including trout and salmon. Berries are a rich source of antioxidants and red wine contains resveratrol which are excellent ways to top up your dopamine levels. At the point number 5 we have GABA. GABA which is also known as gamma aminobutyric acid is the chief inhibitory neurotransmitter in the developmentally mature mammalian central nervous system. It is a key molecule that helps lowering anxiety, depression and insomnia. GABA helps the body produce endorphins which we know exercise helps produce. 
endorphins provide us with a sense of happiness and well-being and help reduce pain sensation. To synthesize GABA, we need to therefore consume key nutrients including zinc, taurine, and vitamin B6. These can be found in almonds, potatoes, mackerel, liver, lentils, broccoli, brown rice, spinach, and oranges. So these are the five neurotransmitters and hormones which can help you in any way. Knowing all about these hormones and neurotransmitters, you can make your mood and food choices better. So this is enough for today. See you in the next video. If you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe this channel.